while GPT-4 is still grabbing the mainstream headlines. Google dropped the Palm E model. GPT-4 is cool, but it's still trapped inside of a computer. Palm E by Google is multi-model, and it is integrated into a robot. It means it's not only competition for GPT-4, but also for Tesla's humanoid robot. All Google needs to do is to partner with an established robotics company like Boston Dynamics, give it this brain, and we could be on our way to an impressive autonomous robot. So Palm E is a fusion of Palm, which is the language model with 540 billion parameters and Visual Transform with 22 billion parameters. They fuse them together to get the Palm E model. Palm E, the E stands for embodied. In total, it has 562 billion parameters. The key difference from previous model is that rather than relying only on textual input, with Palm E, we train the language model to directly ingest raw streams of robot sensor data. And that results in highly effective robot learning, but also a state-of-the-art general purpose visual language model while maintaining excellent language-only task capabilities. You can perform lots of different tasks, like here it can get your chips in an autonomous fashion, you can sort blocks based on colors, you can answer questions about images, and the big innovation of this model is that it can use multiple modalities. It can use images, robot states, and neural scene representations. And this model set a new record on the OK VQA benchmark. What is important, it was able to do it without task-specific fine-tuning while retaining essentially the same general language performance of the Palm model. Here is a graphical representation of the model architecture. The core of the architecture is the large language model, which is Palm. These large language models like Palm and ChatGPT are only usually fed with text, which is signified here in orange. The innovation with the Palm E is that it can be fed not only text, but also images and robotic states. That's what makes it multi-model. In the deep learning models, text has to be represented mathematically as tokens. So they had to do the same processing for images and robotic states. So these are now represented as mathematical tokens fed into the large language models alongside with the text. Then it's processed by the language model. It spits out an answer and that controls the robot. This chart shows the advantage of combining all the different modalities together. Temp data only. Temp means task and motion planning large language model data only. When you combine all the different modalities together, you get increased performance for each one of them. Here's a demonstration of what the robot can do. They asked the robot to bring a bag of chips. This is at 4x speed, so the robot is still pretty slow, but it will improve its speed over time. So it finds the drawer with the chips, it opens the drawer with its robotic arm, and then it grabs the chips. And even with the, when they mess with it, so there is a person on the left here, that's gonna grab the chips and put them back in the drawer. The robot is still be able to uh, use its uh, images from the camera to figure out that the chips are back in the drawer and it's able to grab them again and again. So this is a fully autonomous behavior based on what I understand. So that's quite impressive. So despite the robot being really slow, it's able to complete tasks. And when the dexterity of the robot increases, this will be able to do lots of different tasks in the future. In this example, they asked the robot to sort these different blocks into corners based on color. And what they're trying to demonstrate in this example is that the robot is able to execute long horizon tasks. So in the past, autonomous robots were able to execute few tasks, but then the memory would run out. But here, it is able to do a um, task that requires lots of small uh, steps in sequence. So there are eight different blocks based on different colors and you need to sort them into, into corners. So it does it successfully as you can see here. And then even when the researcher goes in and messes up with the sorting, it's able to resort the blocks back into the proper positions. In this example, they're showing the generalization of the model. They ask the model to push red blocks towards the coffee cup. What is special about this is that they never train the model to do this type of task. So the model recognizes the coffee cup based on its uh, image recognition uh, model and then it's able to push the red blocks based on that because it's able to generally interpret what we want it to do. As they improve the model more and more, it will be able to do the tasks that has never been trained on and it will be able to be fully autonomous. Let's take a look at some other incredible examples of what this thing can do. So here's a picture of basketball players. Given this image on the left, who are the two teams playing in this photo and which was the last to win a championship, and which year did they win, and who was their star player that year. So what's quite amazing here is that while the players in green have the name Celtics, which is the team from Boston, on their jerseys, you can't see the name of the team in the white. So here we have Carmel Anthony, who is the star player for New York Knicks, but there is no uh, indication that this is the Knicks uniform. So the model was able to tell this based on the colors, 
and maybe it matched the, the name of the star player Carmel Anthony to the New York Knicks. So it correctly identifies that the team in white is New York Knicks. The team in green is the Boston Celtics. That's pretty easy because it can just read the text of the jersey. Then it just looks up on Wikipedia that last to win championship was the Boston Celtics. That was in 2008. That's not that difficult. And it figure out based on the statistics that was Paul Pierce. Another example here is a pretty blurry picture of a robot. And we ask, given the image on the left, what will the robot do next? And it says fall. And you can see uh, clearly that the robot is off balance and it's probably going to fall. That's a really good result for image recognition. So here we have a menu scribbled in chalk on the chalkboard. And the question is, given the image on the left, I'm getting just two custom pizzas for me and my friend. How much should I pay in total? Let's think step by step. So what is pretty impressive here is that it says create your own pizza and you ask for custom pizza. So it's able to match those words that custom pizza and create your own pizza is the same thing. So it, it says two custom pizzas. Then it looks up this uh, price here. It does. It, it correctly doesn't use this price, which is uh, also great. Also ignores all the other information. Then it multiplies uh, two times ten dollars and gives you nineteen ninety eight. Here's another basketball example. I guess one of the authors was a basketball fan, and it asks: Given the image on the left, how many championship rings did the player on the left win in his career? So here it uh, uh, figures out who this player is. I'm not sure if it uses uh, the Lakers and the number. So this is Kobe Bryant, one of the biggest stars in the NBA. He played for the Lakers with the number 24. So maybe it uses that information or it uses face recognition. Uh, it's not entirely clear which one it was, but it correctly identifies that this was Kobe Bryant. And then based on Wikipedia information or other information of the web, it's able to figure out that Kobe Bryant won five championship rings. Another good uh, image recognition uh, example here is we have two pictures. Uh, they're very similar. The only difference is the sunglasses and it it's able to compare two different images. So photo one and two, uh, what is in photo one, but not in photo two. Let's think step by step. So it identifies that in photo one, you have the sunglasses in photo two, you don't have the sunglasses and it's able to tell the difference. You can find more information about the Palmy on their blog post, their GitHub post or their paper. I'll put all the links in the description below.